Hey everyone, this is Sona Away with another review. I was hoping to have been able to do the Top Gun Transformers crossover as it was scheduled to be released uh, this week just gone in Australia but unfortunately I think there's been a delay and um, it's not coming out just yet so maybe in the next week or two I will have it in my possession so we'll just have to wait and see I guess. Uh, and I know these have been out for a while, but uh, I'm slowly getting through my list of things that I need to uh, review. So today I'm doing the Netflix version of uh, Sideswipe. And like with all of the deluxe... Um, all of the deluxe wave you get a piece of Teletran. Um, it is rather flimsy, so uh, I'd recommend probably gluing it to something thicker, ideally. Um, like maybe even to the back of these and just doing something with that. Um, well, that's... I do quite like the uh, art on the background um, of Sideswipe there. Uh, so, here is Sideswipe with his uh, previous version. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of difference other than really the darker paint. So, even the red itself, as you can see, is significantly darker than this version, which is lighter and brighter even with the... Uh, paint damage. Um, this side swipe is missing his uh, weapons for good reason. Uh, I took these and I actually gave this to Red Alert and I swapped this out with a red uh, one to represent a Red Alert's shoulder cannon. So I did that. Um, mostly because I Because he needed his shoulder cannon, in my opinion. Red Alert is in Red Alert without his uh, shoulder cannon. Um, I'm not sure if these are like uh, graffiti marks or just sort of like scorch marks, maybe. Um, but I don't mind it. Uh, they've done, they haven't done a bad job. Uh, with the fade effects all over, as you can see even here on the underside. That he's got it on his arms as well. And of course in here you can see... I guess that's supposed to be alien looking. Uh, whether it is or not is, well, up to you I guess. Um, Transforming him is easy, especially if you've had uh, the original side swipe or even Red Alert because they share the very same mould. They're exactly the same, so the transformation sequence is the same, which makes it, which can make things a little easier. So, as you can see, his arms are tucked in here and these clip in there. So, you just want to fold these out and not pop the arms off. That's the first time that's happened because it's on screen, typically. So you want to carefully extend the arms up and out and the wrist as well. Let's see if we can get this one out. Oh look, we did that one without incident. Yay! And then these will fold in when you've moved the rest of this. So you want to come down here and unclip these. And just... You can break them apart before you do this or you can leave them as is. That's completely up to you. It's your preference. Fold his footsies down. Then you just want to close up the panels again. And you want to 
to turn this around lift this up and this will form oops sorry and this will form uh, the clip for his chest plate when it plugs in so then you just want to break well not break but separate this bit here make sure his arms are out of the way and just bring the chest piece down like that oh, tuck these in first I always forget that tuck these in first and just bring his arms down and voila there is the Netflix so that's what and as I said transforming him is easy because he's exactly the same in either form and it's once you've got the hang of it initially it just becomes easy enough to do it all the time These ones on my original size swap are actually a bit stiffer. Uh, I'm not, it doesn't bother me. Um, it's actually not a bad thing. It can be annoying if you're trying to unclip his legs so you can transform him. So as you can see again the only differences in robot mode are of course the paint I think even the uh, battle damage on the legs is uh, significantly different this sort of looks like it was smeared on um, honestly I think I'm gonna keep I'm gonna put him back into his alt form but I think I might actually keep this version of sides in robot form I just to me I just prefer the look overall in his Netflix style uh, but that's just my preference um, if you want to have both of them as is or in alt mode or um, the reverse of what I'm going to do uh, that's perfectly fine uh, it's very easy to transform him back uh, just as it is to bring him back now with these you want to make sure these are as flat as possible and that's because it gives you room to fold them up So when you do this, you've got actually got the room to fold his, fold him all in like that. Make sure it's all nice and squalzing. Yes, I may have pinched that from him go. Uh, I find it easier to stick these out like that so that when you bring his arms in you've got a little more room to work with uh, maybe folding his arm up before you actually go about that will make things just a little bit easier for you at least I found it easier anyway uh,
and voila back in old form and because they are exactly the same transforming this one will be exactly the same as his original version uh, I am looking forward to finally having his brother in my collection I don't, I don't own Masterpiece Sunstreaker uh, I don't have Combiner Wars Sunstreaker either I probably won't get uh, Combiner Wars Sunstreaker I didn't really like the way he looked but I will be getting the Earthrise version of him and I do have a Masterpiece Sunstreaker on order so eventually I will have uh, both of the twins in my collection uh, and then I, I even have the entire Datsun trio um, in the Siege line I've got Masterpiece Smokey on order as well so I'm slowly completing uh, each of my sets uh, I don't have a full Elite Trin either except uh, in Combiner Wars so I'm hoping to eventually complete the different uh, lines for them as well. Uh, but in the meantime, that's it from me and I will catch you guys on the next one.